In this video, I will solve some basic um, electricity problems using the slide rule. As a caveat, I'm not an engineer. Um, but we have Ohm's law, which says uh, if you have a current through, a, say, a simple circuit like this, uh, and you have a resistance, uh, then the current times the resistance should be equal to the voltage drop across that resistance. Um, okay, current will measure in amps, resistance in ohms, and uh, voltage in volts. So, uh, for example, one way you could solve this problem, okay, if you have 3.5 amp current, 23 ohm resistance, uh, what is the voltage? Okay, well, if I find 3.5 here, um, I can align the second number, the 23, uh, from the CI scale. Now, you'll notice the CI scale is running backwards, and on a lot of nice slide rolls, sl uh, scales that run backwards are marked in red. So you see here is 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, about there. Now, where I find the result is actually at the index. So you see here, that's about 8, 805. So let's put this at um, 80.5 volts. Now you might say, what I really did there was multiply, and that's true. So uh, you could have done this calculation um, using just the C and the D scale, using the method we talked about before. Uh, but here, I'm giving a new method for multiplication. I I find the first number on the D scale, then the second number on the CI scale, I stands for inverted by the way because you'll notice it just runs backwards but otherwise is a C scale. Uh, then I go out to the index and I find the result on the D scale. Okay, um, if you think about the fact that it's inverted um, and the original procedure for multiplication that we gave, you should see why this will work. Um, let's do another example. Uh, if I have a, six point, a 61 amps, so I'll find the 6.1 uh, times a 36 ohm resistance. There's 35, 36 on the CI scale there. Okay, then I'll come out to the index and I see voltage drop should be, that looks like a 2. Uh, it's not quite 2.2, so I'm going to put that at 2.19. And then, of course, that's properly 2.190 volts. Uh, because imagine, say, 60 times 30 uh, should be 1,800. Uh, so this is 2.190, correct decimal placement. Okay. Now let's look at, uh, let's look at this. Here we have something else, power... Um, is current times voltage, power measured in watts, current, amps, voltage, volts again. Uh, so let's say we want to do a constant power calculation. So this is a very common calculation. Um, if I have 0.75 amps at 12 volts, uh, what is the same power at 5 volts? This is common in um, lower, lower voltage circuits, say, for computers and things. Um, so uh, here is a trick. Uh, in the first example, we aligned the second, or we found the index uh, in order to find the voltage. But actually, if you have a second thing here, okay, you can set up uh, an inverse proportion between four numbers. This number times this number equals this number times the last number. We used one, okay, um, between the CI and the D scale. Okay, so here what I really want is constant power, so I have two. Uh, two different currents and two different voltages, and I set up an equation like this. Okay, so what I will do is I'll find the the seven five on the D scale, then the twelve volts on the CI scale. Okay, there's one point. Sorry. Sometimes you'll have this trouble with slide rolls. Uh, 1.2 on the CI scale. Okay, so it turns out that those two numbers, the one on the D scale and the one on the CI scale, if you put the cursor somewhere else, you'll get the same product instead of the same ratio if you use C and D. Okay, so I have 0.75 times 12 is something times 5, so let's find the 5. 
on the CI scale. And then I should read the result, the other number in the product on the right, uh, the second current, on the D scale, and I see there 1.5678, amps. Okay? So when you use uh, the D scale against the CI scale, instead of a constant uh, ratio, you get a constant product, and you can solve uh, inverse proportions like this. Of course, um, what you can also do is read reciprocals, because, well, if you close the rule, um, then the product that you're seeing here, uh, let's look at the left index, is 1 times 10, or just imagine that that's a 1. On some, on some slide rules, you'll see 1 at the other indices instead of 10. Okay, so 1 times 1, okay, so if you have 1 times 1 and then you set the cursor somewhere else, the number on the CI scale times the number on the D scale should be 1. Okay? Um, of course, you need to adjust the decimal place. So you can use this to read reciprocals uh, from the D to the CI scale if, if everything is aligned like this, which is called being closed. Or you can always read them directly between the C and the CI because they're both on the slide. Okay, so let's do a quick example. If I find 2.3, here's 2... 1, 2, 3, 2.3 on either C or D when the slide rule is closed. Uh, then the reciprocal uh, should be on the CI scale. Remember, it's reading backwards, so that's 4, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, about 4.35 um, as the reciprocal of 0.23. Okay? Have fun.